Jeffrey. Katie, the first thing I notice about Harvey since the last time I saw him is he's really grown. He's, he's a man now, really, isn't he? I know. He's six foot two, 24 stone and still growing. Yes. Um, so I have been with you with him and see how you deal with him um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And I have seen him in a situation where he was not happy and he kicked off. Didn't he see the chair fly across the room or something over a, a muffin? He kicked a, over a muffin that he couldn't <laughs> have or you did, they didn't have. And you were fantastic and you calmed him down and he listened to you. But you're dealing... I've seen that once. Yeah. Okay? Mostly I see lovely Harvey on your Instagram posts and things, singing songs and being lovely. Because you never post anything other than See, that. that's the thing. I only show him when he's good. Yeah. But people don't see, and carers out there would understand, he's got this side to him, you've got his challenging behaviour, he's got this autism, Prada Willies. My house is smashed to bits. Like, he's gone through eight iPads this year um, with four tellies. And, and is that when he's cross about something or upset or frustrated? No, it's his trigger points. Like, someone might bang the door and they'd be like... Nyeh! And that's it. Nearest thing near him, he'll chuck it. Just... But I don't put them kind of videos up of him because I don't... Mm. One, I don't want the sympathy because it is hard work. And two, why, why do I want to show him like that? I'd yeah. rather show him when he's fun. But it's got to a point now... I mean, anyone would understand. They're like, when I put posts up... Now, because I went on a show the other day and I said about the residential, some people say, no, you're out of order. Why are you putting him in residential? Then I want to adopt one. People don't understand the situation. I've always wanted to adopt. I was training to be a nurse when I left school. I am just naturally... A caring person. That's why you have all those animals as well. Yeah, you and want I to still adopt want kids. Him, you want to adopt but with animals. Harvey, like today, he wouldn't go to school because um, I said I'm going to work, so he wanted to come with me. He actually thinks I'm at the shop getting him a carbonara, so he'd probably be looking out that window now waiting for me. Because that's the only way you could kind of get calm out the him door down and today. Get him out. So he hasn't gone to school because he kicked yeah. off. Um, but it's so hard now because even at night time, he's like a nightmare newborn because I don't get any sleep. He'll come in, he'll go in all the kitchen, he bangs about and he goes in the kids' room and he'll be like, boo, and wake him up. They're scared, so they get in my room. He's just... I love him so much. He's my absolute life. Um, but he's just hard work now. I mean, he needs to go to school. So, at his school, they do board in there. So, he, it's taken me ages, ages to be convinced it's the best place. Because if he kicks off at school, yeah. he's already at school. Look, you know... I know you feel you have to justify that, dear. I know. L I feel listen, like you know, listening to her, she feels because she's going to be judged on this. Goodness me, who could cope with cope that? Is the no, good word, absolutely. Yes. And I'd, I'd want to say to lots of carers who are struggling. I mean, it's a really, really hard role, and, and they I, don't get enough I support I themselves. I so admire you for what you've been doing because I mean that it's one thing caring for somebody frail, but you're caring for you know someone who's a very big chap now, and it must mm. be take your courage. It's great you can calm him down, but he probably does need different boundaries now. Um, you know, and people have got the whole structure in place, and that's often the truth, isn't it? Whether it's older people who've got dementia mm. or, or young people with very, very challenging behaviour. Well, it's behavior. still a difficult decision, it's the right it did, of, isn't it, for anybody course, to course. make that it. decision? Because, yeah, yeah, everyone talks about guilt, and you and I can say, don't feel guilty, you shouldn't feel guilty, but... But you do. You do. The yeah. thing is, I've never done respite, because um, I would never want Harvey to think mm. that I'm palming him off. Mm. But it's come to a point I actually have no choice. Yeah. Because he's putting on weight. At least I know that at school when he's there, Monday to Friday, he can do after school club. I can still go up there, tuck him into bed. I can have dinner with him. I can come and watch him after school because he loves me watching him. Mm. So he might lose some weight. It's better for his health. So it's just going to be Monday to Friday. Only then, Monday to a... Friday. Let me Every help. weekend and holidays I'll have him. But it's only while he's at school and he needs his education. Yeah. He hasn't really been for two weeks. He's so obsessed with me. Also, yeah. I'd want to really encourage sort of other people out there do get respite care if you think it would help. You know, but you know, Deirdre, I was just I looking at uh, just Carers UK. It makes such a difference. The Carers UK say a quarter of carers they talk to hadn't had a day off from caring for their loved ones five, for more than five, five years. years. Um, and I bet you're I've had nearly sleeping. 17 years yeah. of it. Yeah, and I bet you <laughs> don't sleep well because you're always No, got and this is the thing, I hear these comments and I know I shouldn't read them. They're like, what are you on about? You've got carers, you go on holiday, this yeah. and that. Yeah, I've got a life, but I am with him all day. I haven't got carers for him at all. I do it myself, one-to-one. -one. What about um, the younger children? Um, how... Cos I know they adore him, but are they, they ever scared frightened? They get scared from that. It's just cos when he triggers off, he's so... Cos he's so big and makes a big impact. But then afterwards, like, if he smashed a telly, he'll go, look, Mum, look, 
I'm like, I know, what have you done? He'd go, smashed it. And then I'd be like, I can't tell him off because he don't understand and then he might cry after and go, sorry. But, but when he's in that rage, he's in that Katie, rage. Katie, have you made the decision or how close are you to making the decision? No, it, it's in place. Um, it's there. We're just waiting uh, for the place. He's got a place at the school. He was supposed to start Monday, but obviously he's not now. And I'm really nervous. Like, I said to him, what if I don't like it? Can I have him back? But then I'm like, I can't because I'll be in the same situation again.